Hello and welcome to Broad Lane Leisure. I'm Karina from the YouTube channel Here We Tow and I'm also an experienced caravanner. Today I'm going to be talking about special edition caravans or dealer specials as they're also known. And in particular I'm going to be showing you around this today. It's the Swift Fairway Platinum Caravan and it's based on the Swift Challenger. So in this vlog I'm going to be answering three questions. What is a special edition caravan? What extras are you going to get on a special edition caravan? And is it worth buying a special edition caravan? So let's start with question number one. What is a special edition? Well, special editions, also known as dealer specials, are where a dealership like Broad Lane Leisure take a caravan like the Swift Challenger and they add a number of options and extras to that to produce the special edition. In this case, the Fairway Platinum is based on a Swift Challenger and the options and extras that they've loaded onto this would cost you just over £3,200 if you were to buy it separately. However, within the special edition, all these extras are actually going to cost you a fraction of that £3,200. So what particularly are we going to be getting extra on the Fairway Platinum? I'm going to go through those now, explain a bit about them and hopefully make it easier for you to make an informed choice about whether a special edition's for you or not. So what are we getting on the Fairway Platinum above the standard Challenger? Well, let's start here at the front. The Fairway Platinum is on the Alco chassis and there are six models available to you altogether. There will be a link in the description below and in that link there'll be a catalogue for the full details of the Fairway Platinum range and there'll also be the price list as well. Within those six models we're going to find one two berth caravan and five four berth models. Two of those will be eight feet wide as well so if you're interested in the Challenger X caravan then the Fairway Platinum eight foot edition certainly is worth considering. So let's go through what we're going to get standard on the Fairway Platinum that would otherwise be options on a Challenger. We're going to get ATC trailer control. That's an anti-snaking device. It's electronic and it'll come into play if your caravan detects that you're coming into trouble. So that's a really good security feature. We're going to find we get the Alco grab handles or maneuvering handles. So that's a step up from the Challenger. These are the Alco ones themselves. Under here in the front locker, we're going to find the en route regulator from Truma with the automatic changeover. Now that is a fantastic feature if you have two gas bottles in the front locker and you're away on site, you're cooking, you're barbecuing or you're using the gas for heating and the gas bottle runs out. The last thing you want to do in bad weather is to have to come trotting out yourself and mess about. So that's going to do the auto change for you. So a brilliant feature there. Now up on the roof, we can't see at the moment, but up there, the standard Challenger will come with a solar panel, but not the 100 watts that you're going to get on the Fairway Platinum. Now a solar panel is fantastic for if your caravan's in storage or it's on the driveway, it's going to feed power into your leisure battery to keep it topped up. So when the alarm's activated, you're not going to end up with a flat battery. It's also great if you enjoy off-gridding on a lovely sunny day like this, if you're off grid, it'll keep your leisure battery topped up so you don't have to rely on electric hookup. So those are the front features that we're going to get extra. Now I'm going to move down the near side of the Fairway Platinum. Now, first of all, the main thing we're going to notice are the decals or the exterior graphics. These are specific to the Broad Lane Special Edition. They're black, silver, but they still have that snakeskin effect that I particularly like, so different to the Challenger. And we see here in graphite grey, fairway platinum. So people are going to know you've got a special edition. Another feature we're going to find on the platinum is down here, and it's these, it's the steadies. On this, we're going to find heavy duty steadies, also known as big feet. So with those heavy duty steadies, as opposed to the ones on the standard Challenger, it means the weight is going to be distributed and especially beneficial if you're on soft ground or a grass pitch. 
It's also worth mentioning, it's worth purchasing some steady locks to go on here as an additional security measure as well. The Fairway Platinum does come with the external gas point like the Challenger. This is fantastic if you enjoy barbecuing outside with your Kadak or your Weber or Cobb. We enjoy barbecuing outside so you can get that set up on those nice mornings and evenings and do some cooking. We're still going to get that under storage. Now under here though, this is the first feature on this near side that I'm going to show you. And this is the external entertainment system. I've never actually seen one of these before. So I was quite excited to see this when I've come to Broad Lane today. So within here, we're going to find a pull out TV bracket. We're going to find an aerial and we're going to find a 230 volt plug so we can plug in the television and watch it out here. Because if you've got an awning on an evening, you've got that set up, you can sit out here and watch television through your external entertainment system. So that's a fantastic little feature. I do like that. Next to it, we're going to find another 230 volt plug here, and that's a Truma plug. Now it might be that you like to cook outdoors, but you don't use gas. You might use an electrical appliance. So that's there for you. You might have other things you want to charge up, like electric bikes, for example, or children's gadgets while they're out here in the awning. So we do have a 230 volt socket. That is standard on a Challenger as well, but we get it here too. Moving along now, up above the doorway here, what we're going to find is we're going to get a key fob and this key fob is going to work the alarm that we're going to get on the fairway platinum and you're also going to be able to operate the awning light. So on a night when you're heading back to the caravan in the dark, you can turn that light on and off and find your way back to the caravan in the dark. So that's a good feature too. As we come down now, one thing we don't want is obviously to suffer a puncture but if you do the fairway platinum is going to come with a jack and a side bracket and that isn't standard on a lot of caravans so that is brilliant if the worst does happen you can jack it up another great feature on the platinum we're going to get an alco wheel lock now for anyone that knows alco wheel lock these are the only uh, diamond approved chassis locks for caravans. If you get the Fairway Platinum, you get one. And if it's a twin axle model that you're buying, you will get two. So that is going to save you a lot of money on security. And security is really important, particularly when it comes to your insurance premium. Added security like that is going to reduce that premium. And the good thing about a chassis lock with like the Alco, if you look here through the alloy wheel, you'll see a little yellow cap. And that is where that chassis lock is going to fit. This isn't a wheel clamp. A wheel clamp is something totally different. This is a chassis lock, which fits directly onto the chassis of the caravan. And these are one of the best security products you can buy for a caravan. So that's what we're going to get on the near side. What I'm going to do now is take you around the back of the caravan and show you another fitted accessory that we're going to get on the Fairway Platinum. So come on, let's head around the back. So here we are at the back of the Fairway Platinum and what we're going to find, we're going to find the Alco manoeuvring handles. We're going to find the Fairway Platinum we're going to find the two-lay bike rack and that is standard on a Challenger but what is not standard is up here we're going to find a rear view camera. Now that's great in se several circumstances including when you're reversing on your pitch uh, when you arrive on site. That can stop many an argument believe me. So yeah we've got a rear view camera. So that's what we're going to find round here at the back. We'll just head down the offside because there's one more feature that I've got to show you down at the front end. So I'll see you down there. So here on the off side, we're going to find the Truma Aqua Source. And here we're going to be able to use the Aqua Roll with pump, or you can feed this directly from the caravan to the tap if you're on a service pitch to have that continuous flow of water. It's completely up to you. What we're also going to find externally on the Platinum are rain guards or as I've always known them mud flaps. 
So there we are. That is the additional equipment we're going to get on the Swift Fairway Platinum. And I'm sure you'll agree there's quite a lot of equipment there for our money. So let's go inside next and have a look and see what we're getting in there. So we've come inside the Fairway Platinum and the first thing we notice is the difference in the finish of the fabrics and the colour scheme. So the Fairway Platinum, we've got this nice finish on the fabric here. We've got the strip here, which is different. And then we've got our cushions. So first of all, we have a, a nice beigey gold coloured one in a nice finish. I like that material. But then we also get this blue cushion, which is certainly very vibrant but you can switch it round if you want to use this more mink colour instead so it gives you the options to personalise your lounge area to however you would rather have it. So those are the cushion colour schemes. Now to complement those Broad Lane have also chosen their own curtain colours so here we can see different to the Challenger we have a lovely finish it's almost a a, a very pale blue is almost the colour with a lovely gold within it. I really like that. It does complement this very well. We're also going to find as an extra on this as part of that special edition, these little lights and they have dimmers on as well. So on a night when you sat here reading or on your gadgets, you can turn these up and down. The Platinum Standard does get the four-way blinds. These are the concertina effect and they also get the fly screens as well. So obviously in summer when you've got the windows open for fresh air, you don't have to worry about the insects. So those are the blinds and that's sort of what we're going to get up here that are part of the special edition. You'll also notice above me here we've got it as a name badge on that and that's a nice little finish I like that trim as well so up here this is the 560 fairway platinum we're going to find a USB charger we're going to find a sockets as well and then we've got this chest which pulls out so we can sit here on an evening to eat also within the lounge area we're going to get some good storage as well so we'll have a look at that we're going to get the cupboard in the corner and one thing I like about these doors is that they do fold quite a good way back so they're not impeding here so you can get good access straight into this cupboard here and then next to it we find further storage and this is the same on both the near side and the off side of the caravan and when you look in here you'll see the excellent height these are really good storage cupboards Another feature that we're going to find, you might find, see above me, we've got Kenwood speakers. Now there is a sound system, you can play the radio in the caravan, and that's going to be through the Swift Command Centre, which I'll show you in a minute when we turn around. We're also going to get the great Swift sunroof, and we've got one above the lounge area here as well, letting plenty of light in. What we'll do next is we'll just have a turnaround and we'll go and have a look in the kitchen area of the Fairway Platinum. So the kitchen in the Fairway Platinum, it's a really good kitchen you're going to find across all of these models. We get the flap, which is great for putting bits out like you can see here, or it might be that you've got a coffee machine or toaster that you like to put on there. And it's always good when you see two plug sockets as well. It means you're not limited to just using one device at a time. We do have some storage in the Platinum and that's on both sides of the microwave so plenty of room there for all our crockery and boxes of cereal and things like that. The good thing about the microwave here is it is at a good height as well so if you're not particularly tall like me you don't have to worry about reaching up to get things in and out of it. We've got good worktop space and we do have an absolutely huge sink on the Swifts so that's fairly standard but always a really good sized sink. As we come across, we're going to find the Thetford oven grill and the hob. Now the hob on the Fairway Platinum, you're going to get three gas burners and one electric. So that's great whether you're on electric hookup or whether you're using your gas. So you're going to have it all covered there. Underneath, now this is a feature I really like on the Swifts. So under here, we're going to have a pull-out drawer. 
for bits and pieces there. And we're also going to find this really good slide out rack. And this is almost like a basket effect. So you'll be able to keep tins and things like that in there. So that's kept nice and tidy under there. Another little feature just under the worktop is your cutlery tray. And again, I like to see how this space has been used. It's not being wasted. So you've got a really good cutlery tray. Then we're going to find the Dometic fridge and freezer. And on this 560, we're going to find an under counter fridge freezer, but there's plenty of room in there for a couple or four people. On some of the models on the Fairway Platinum, you're going to find the Dometic two-way opening fridge freezer, which will open on either side, uh, but it's not on this 560. Also within the kitchen area, part of the Fairway Platinum, we're going to get an illuminated splash back here. We've got illumination on both sides. And what we're also going to get is above me, you may well be able to see but we've got the Omnivent extractor. So when you are cooking, you turn that on, it will draw air out and it'll also suck air in. So in summer when it's warm and you want to get that uh, air drawn through, you can turn that to actually bring air in to help with the circulation. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move over and just show you the Swift Command panel so you are aware of what that is. So above the door, you're going to find the swift command panel. Now on this panel, you really are going to control the whole of the caravan. We're going to control the water pump. We're going to have the awning light, the internal lights, your heating, power, fridge, radio and settings. The Fairway Platinum does come with Alder Wet Central Heating as standard. There is the Alder panel here, but you can also operate the heating off your swift command as well. So you don't have to use this one. So it's an all in one function. If you haven't had Alder wet central heating before, it is fantastic. It is absolutely amazing. So those are the features there. So what we're going to do now is we'll just venture a little bit further back into the caravan and show you a few more bits as we go through the door. So the bathroom layout will depend on the model that you're interested in. This, as I say, is the 560. But what you are going to get is a good size shower cubicle. You're going to get a good size sink and tap and you're going to get the Thetford toilet. What you're also going to get is you're going to get the wet central heating with the radiator. Now, this particular model has the radiator with the towel hook situated over it, great for drying your hand towels. And we also find a towel rail as well, ideal for drying out those wet towels after you've had your shower in a morning or an evening. One feature I do like on the Fairway Platinum is within the mirror, we're going to find Fairway embossed onto that mirror. Again, just reminding you of that special edition. And on all of them, you're going to find some great storage space as well for all your toiletries and bits for the family. So that summarizes the bathroom experience on the Platinum. So what we'll do next is last but not least, we'll just venture into the bedroom and look at one last feature we're going to find there. So depending on which model you choose, it's going to depend on that layout. But what it's not going to change is the fact that you're going to get a very good sized bed, for example, this rear island bed, and you're going to get the duvalet mattress. Now, if you've no experience of duvalet memory foam mattresses, these are probably some of the best in the industry. I myself have bought a duvalet mattress for my own caravan, and I must say these are fantastic. So to get one included within the purchase is a bonus. You're also going to get, as part of the special edition Fairway Platinum, a larger headboard than the standard Challenger. And we're also going to get these nice dimmable lights as well on an evening. So on a night, the subtle lighting in the bedroom is going to be absolutely lovely. What you are going to get across all the models, though, is some excellent storage with wardrobes, drawers, and we're also going to get an aerial point so you can watch television in the bedroom on an evening. So that is the bedroom space within this um, platinum. And one thing you may notice as well is instead of curtains, we do find we get these boards, fabric boards, the same fabric as we're getting in the lounge with the curtains. And that's just a nice little finish for me. I do like that. As, we, as standard, 
we also do get fly screens so you can open these up in those summer months and enjoy some fresher air. What we'll do next is we'll just venture back into the lounge and we'll just have a little summary about this special edition. So there we have it, that is the Swift Fairway Platinum from Broad Lane Leisure based on the Swift Challenger. We now know what a special edition is and we know all the extra equipment we're going to get on the Fairway Platinum. The last question is, should we buy a special edition? And I think the answer to that is yes. We are going to get £3,200 worth of additional equipment for a fraction of that price on this special edition. It works out as extremely good value and all the equipment that we're getting extra is stuff that we genuinely will be using when we're out there touring and on site. It might be that you're already looking at a Swift Challenger or it might be that you're considering an elegance but you just can't quite stretch to it. Well this Fairway Platinum at this price is going to give you all this equipment and take you not far from that elegance level of equipment so it's certainly worth considering. It's also worth bearing in mind when you come to sell or trade in your Fairway Platinum in the future the residual value will probably be higher because you've got all these additional pieces of equipment that a standard challenger won't have. So it's going to certainly appeal to more buyers when you come to sell. For me personally, I've really enjoyed having a look at this special edition today. It's got some nice features that the challenger doesn't have. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look around with me as well. There will be in the description below the brochures for this caravan and the price list as well. So please do take a look. So all that I have to say now is thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.